Hey everyone, Royal News this week as Prince Harry announced that he and his wife are as fed up with the tabloids as the rest of us and he wants to resign from royal life. Although it's unclear at this stage whether he's going to be changing his name to quote formerly known as Prince, like the singer, or similarly swapping out his signature to a kind of strange symbol. I imagine official calligraphers and people involved in heraldry are probably more concerned about their job than whoever ends up with the job as the new Iran military chief. That was another story this week, of course, the US threatening to drag us into World War Three. You know, maybe Harry just quit because he was worried he was going to get called up for military service again. A war with Iran would probably be the one thing in this planet potentially more dysfunctional than his family life. What we do know is that the decision was a private one and he didn't discuss it with the Queen or his dad or Prince Charles. The public are also being left with more unanswered questions than one of my old Latin exams. You know, for all the couple claim a desire to be financially independent, they are costing the best part of a million quid a year in security detail alone. Who's going to be paying for that in the future? We do know that Harry has some cash left him by his mother, but that was a long time ago and we all saw photos of him in Las Vegas. Maybe he's got plans to start up some kind of trendy, financially sustainable business, you know, a version of Charles's Dutchy Originals, but it's maybe a craft brewery or something. Or perhaps he could try that same financial scheme that all his prince friends in Nigeria used to earn money. For what it's worth, I actually hope they make a decent go of it and they do stop living on taxpayers' money, although I suspect the whole thing's probably being driven by an attention-seeking desire to spend more time spreading Macon's non-royal woke messages on climate change and gender equality and such like. A message on climate change, by the way, that will be spread by someone openly talking about how they plan to spend all their time flying between the UK and the US, presumably running up a carbon footprint larger than that time his grandmother's castle caught fire in Windsor. One thing before I end is to maybe raise awareness of the somewhat suppressed scandal involving the revelation at the Canadian mansion in which the couple recently spent several weeks staying at is allegedly owned by a Russian billionaire who remains nameless and who the couple have refused to name. Still, I guess it's better than all the billionaires that Harry's Uncle Andy were hanging out with. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clicks, subscribe.